Ah, how to add, welcome in shooters, much love hoopers, how to add arc to your shot. Get a lot of questions about this, people saying that they struggle with arc, basically. And if you haven't seen our how to shoot with range video, how to add more range, make sure to check it out because this is a different technique but based on the same concept that we've been lied to by coaches who are telling us to focus on how our body moves and we need to focus on how the ball moves, right? The basic physics, and make sure to check out the physics ebook if you haven't seen it yet. The basic physics of shooting with arc are you need speed, release speed, and the ball needs to go up in the air, right? So a good way to do this, this is what Steph Curry does. He dips the ball off his knee, not always, but sometimes, and shoots in a straight line up from there. So it's going, the ball's going really fast, right? And it's going straight up, right? Really fast and straight up. You can also rotate into it to add more speed really fast and straight up. That's all that matters for a range is you, <laughs> this is why I'm saying coaches have lied to us because the shot is, the shot is a low dip and the, yeah, it's, it's, it's a low dip. If you're shooting from overhead, you're never going to get the speed. It's just impossible to get the speed. Um, it, it may be possible if you jump really high and you're really strong, but it's way easier based on basic physics to just shoot, take a low dip and shoot on the way up, right? Think about it. It's just basic physics. If you don't understand basic physics, again, check out the book. So try that. If this is your shot, forget it and change it. It will suck for a while. Wait until the off season or winter break or something like that, spring break, and, and, ch and change it. Um, because it'll be inaccurate for a little while, but it will be worth it. You'll have more arc, you'll have more range, and you'll have more more accuracy eventually, because like the reason that we want more arc, should have gotten into this earlier, but the reason we want more arc is because the hoop is bigger, right? If we're shooting a line drive, it just clanks off. The hoop is effectively closed. If the more arc we have, the bigger the hoop is, so the more accurate we can be, the farther we can shoot from as well, so arc is something that we really want. Also, the higher our arc, the the more likely the ball is to bounce up and off the backboard and back in, as opposed to if it's a line drive, it just clanks off. So there's a lot of reasons that we want to add arc, right? And that's the basic to think about, is just dip low and dip low, yeah, and uh, put lots of speed into it because just speed and angle is what it's all about so again if you want more on that make sure to check out the scientific shooting secrets ebooks link to that below see some of you on the inside take care and see you in the next video let me know what other videos you want to see us talk about take care